how is it going everybody mr android here well samsung has started rolling out the one ui 6.1.1 update for more galaxy users and in today's video i'll be showing you some hidden features that many of you may have missed after installing this update on your samsung phone so if you want to know some useful non ai features that samsung recently added then stay tuned and watch this video until the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one with that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first let me show you a really useful feature they have added to Samsung Notes specially for S Pen users. Now let's say I write anything on the screen using the S Pen, you'll notice a straight line appearing at the bottom so I can write properly in alignment. But the best part is that if I still struggle to write in a straight line, it will automatically align the letters for me. You can enable this feature by swiping right on this menu and then tapping on the second icon. Here just make sure you have enabled all three options. So if you own the Galaxy S23 or the S24 Ultra and use the S Pen quite often to write down all your notes, then I think you will definitely use this feature a lot. Next, when you open any video in the default video player inside the gallery, What's new here is that you can now double tap on the right side to skip forward or double tap on the left side to go backward. This is what we usually do when watching videos on YouTube or any other streaming platform and I'm really glad that we can now do the same thing for videos saved in the gallery. Just keep in mind that it only works when you open video using the default video player. Since we are inside the gallery, if you tap on this hamburger menu, go into settings scroll down and select about gallery tap on this version number for 11 times you will now have the gallery labs option which was already present in the previous version but here they have added two brand new options one is the slideshow with selected items and then we also get a slideshow auto playback feature this basically allows you to select a specific set of images from your gallery and then you can view those images in a slideshow with background music if you enable the repeat playback option, it will keep repeating the slideshow with only those pictures that you have selected. Next, if you enable this go to studio toggle, it will add a shortcut within the gallery app to quickly access the studio application on your phone. Next, whenever you want to set a new wallpaper on your phone, you just tap on this three dot menu and then select set as wallpaper. Now if your device is running the latest One UI 6.1.1, you will see some additional options like set as alarm background and set as calendar alert. This means you can set any wallpaper as your alarm background directly from here. And if you want to set it as a calendar alert, just click on it and it will take you directly to the customization page on the calendar application. So you don't have to go around looking for a specific wallpaper to use for your alarms and reminders. Instead, you get all these options right inside the gallery app. Within your phone settings, when you navigate to the security and privacy section, you will find the auto blocker feature. This feature was already available in previous versions, but this update brings a maximum restriction mode to the auto blocker. Enabling this mode will further enhance the security of your phone, it blocks apps that require admin access, prevents work profiles from being activated on your phone, helps protect you from malicious emails and attachments, and even removes location data when you share pictures. Additionally, it blocks shared albums and unnecessary permissions in the background to improve the overall security of your Samsung device. When we receive calls on Samsung, we usually swipe over the answer key like this. However, with One UI 6.1.1, there is an option that allows you to answer calls by simply tapping the answer key. To change this setting, go to your phone dialer, tap on the three dots menu and then head over to the settings. Here select answering and ending calls and you will find a new option that lets you change the gesture from swipe to tap. That's it. Now when you receive calls, you can just tap on the answer button instead of swiping. There is another new option right here that says answer using speaker. When you enable this, the phone will automatically switch to speaker mode instantly when you pick up calls. Another useful feature that I really liked is when you are inside the MyFiles app, you are now able to create a shortcut of any folder or files that you want to access directly from the home screen. In order to do that, simply long press on a specific folder, go to your home screen using the other finger. Now just drop this folder to create a shortcut. You can easily create shortcuts which you can directly access from your home screen. Not only they have added some useful features, but they have also improved the multitasking experience. Guys, when you play videos in picture-in-picture -picture mode, 
If you click on the pop-up window, you get this new option that lets you directly open that window in a split screen. This option was not present in the previous One UI 6, but now you can open picture-in-picture -picture videos into split screen in a much quicker way. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some really useful hidden features of One UI 6.1.1. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.